Yeah, I was uh, in a Twitter beef, I guess, with Talib Kweli, this this rapper, and essentially he he called me a Nazi because I posted a Breitbart article, and his logic was that it, because Breitbart, in his opinion, is a Nazi a publication, and I posted Breitbart, then I'm a Nazi. So I told him that uh, I said pretty sound logic there, retard. And it oh. was enough to be permanently banned from Twitter. I'm never on allowed back on. <laughs> the R word. Don't do it. Don't ever Not apologize. No, yeah, don't what, apologize. That's, that's exactly it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we need more people that say what they mean, mean what they say, and don't apologize for it. Yeah. And, one of the first, one of the worst Rose, things Roseanne Barr did was apologize, and she regretted it immediately yeah, because exactly. they go into full attack mode. Don't apologize. Yeah. Absolutely. No. No, that's the next wave of truth is that we need, we, oh, no, <laughs> is that we will not apologize. Stop apologizing. Hey, we've got Outlaw Morgan with what? us, and we're talking about meme wars and how the big tech giants are now targeting political satire. And that means Outlaw Morgan might be out of a job. Uh, well, well, you, know, you, know, you know who else? You know who else wants to kill comedy, right? Nazi dictators, communists. They, they <laughs> yes, hate they to do. see people laugh. And well, listen, comedy, comedy is the best way to kill your enemy. I was just, just so going to say, it's the most yeah. effective. It's the most effective. And you know, it even says that in Saul Alinsky's rule for radicals, and that is ridicule. It's one of their number one bullet points is ridicule. So it's okay for them to use it. They don't want us to use it. They use it every night on late night comedy, all right? Every Saturday on SNL, every night on Stephen Colbert. That's their, uh, it's a very, very powerful weapon. And a lot of people watch that stuff and they take it as the gospel truth. And that's their news source. That's very scary. But I'm telling you, it's hey, highly hey, hey, effective. Slow down. You know, a lot of people get their political perspective from Joy Behar on The View. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's true, but that's a scary thought. That is a very yeah, scary thought. Terrifying. But that now, terrifying. now, just in time for the 2020 election, you know, they're going after political satire. I'm going to read a couple uh, headlines. Facebook blocks viral pro-Trump meme maker hours after page launch. All right. Facebook suspends page over pro-Infowars meme. Right. <laughs> Twitter... Twitter's new rules lead to fears of meme ban, right? So they're coming after us, man. I tell you what, and let me tell you, I, I want to talk about my son, InfoWars writer, Kellen McBreen, because he's way out of control. He's out of control. Kellen, I mean, my son is out of control. You're not going to believe what he did. He, he was on Twitter a few months ago, and this crazy kid, he told Bernie Sanders, you're not going to believe this, he told Bernie Sanders that illegal immigrants are criminals. Oh, oh my God. He That's said, not woke. You're he not said thinking that, like woke individual. He said I, that I on Twitter, man. And guess what? They suspended him. You for mean it. illegal? Illegal immigrants are criminals. You mean the illegal the, the, the illegal ones. Are criminals? Yeah, that's uh, you can't <laughs> say the truth. That, that somehow, and guess what they called yeah. it? They called it hateful conduct. So he was kicked off, I think, for only a week or so, right? Seven days. Seven days. Okay. He was kicked. There's Kellen. And so he was kicked off, reinstated, but it wasn't too long before they came back in. And this time he's gone for good. And that's because he got into a Twitter war with a hip hop artist. Kellen, what the hell happened there? Why did you get kicked off permanently this time? So, yeah, I was uh, in a Twitter beef, I guess, with Talib Kweli, this, this rapper. And essentially, he he called me a Nazi because I posted a Breitbart article, and his logic was that it, because Breitbart, in his opinion, is a Nazi a publication, and I posted Breitbart, then I'm a Nazi. So I told him that uh, I said pretty sound logic there, retard, and oh. it was enough to be permanently banned from Twitter. I'm never on allowed back on. <laughs> <laughs> the R word. The R word. Hey, at least he went out with style. Well, you're yeah. not allowed to say that. Oh, my goodness. So I might be back. How, how are you going to be? Oh, well, that's right. Because you could do anonymous and, and yeah, yeah, you could fight back. There's ways. Well, you know what? So that's so in this day and age, you can't diss a rapper anymore. He can't. He can't come back well, at no, you. I, 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 listen, he Just, had a couple strikes, okay? He, he went full-blown white supremacist. <laughs> he, he referred to a uh, Breitbart article. Yeah. That's strike number one. Yeah. He attacked yeah. oh, a yeah. black rapper. 
That's that's strike number two, and he said retard. Now, that's is it wrong for me as a father to be proud of my son for calling him a retard? <laughs> I, hey, you know what? <laughs> Bravo, sir. Bravo. I think that deserves a round of applause. I think. Listen, yes. here's the problem. Mm -hmm. We all know that everybody's gotten so sensitive, and here here's what really. Uh, trips my trigger about the whole ordeal, right? Is that we are trying to self-censor ourselves to appease people, and that's the essence of political correctness, which nowadays has been called woke because political correctness as a terminology has been tainted and uh, because we destroyed it for the past three, four, five years, mm -hmm. and uh, so now they're calling it woke culture. And woke culture is the biggest tumor cancerous thing I've ever seen in my life. It just ruins everything good. It's like can everybody just calm down? How did it affect your life that this man posted on Twitter? Did it destroy your life? Are you getting therapy? Uh, like, like, I, I just, I, I'm not even on Twitter. I personally hate it, but it's like, I see it on every social media platform where it's like the woke culture comes after you. They try to shut you down. They mob attack you and everybody flags and reports you. And the next thing you know, you're off the platform. Twitter, I actually got banned from Twitter because uh, I had words with a guy that was trying to normalize pedophilia. And I put his ass in check, and they put they bought me off the platform. I was like, for real, this is where we are right now, dude. Like, like uh, men who find young boys attractive uh, is somebody that they're trying to protect as if that's worth protecting. I so I, I don't want nothing to do with Twitter. I can't that. take this anymore. Yeah. I'm out. I can't take this. I am so offended. See? Everything you guys just yeah. <laughs> so offensive. You just triggered Marcos. Opinions. Hit the red alert. This is just the worst. This whole show is awful. Who let I'm that leftist in here? Bye. Oh, he I'm said. For good this time. Oh. <laughs> and he I put. Swear, guys, I'm leaving. And he put his Apologize. feelings. Wow, Marcos. He's is, coming back. He's pissed off hey, and mad hey, about it. No. I, I'm actually, I'm actually glad he said the word apologize, right? Yeah. Because don't, don't that, do it. Don't do it. Don't ever apologize. Not, yeah. No, don't apologize. That's exactly it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like we need more people. They say what they mean, mean what they say, and don't apologize for it. Yeah. And, one of the first, one of the worst ro things Roseanne Barr did was apologize, and she regretted it immediately yeah, because exactly. they go into full attack mode. Don't apologize. Absolutely. No. no, that's the next wave of truth is that we need, we, oh, no, <laughs> is that we will not apologize. Stop apologizing. Yeah, man. We, that was a phase. But Whoever was apologizing out there, just stop. A Speak your retard, mind. Re retard. Hey, there retard. is a war on for your mind. Quick break. Right back after this. Are the Clintons corrupt? <laughs> the War Room. Infowars.com forward slash show.